I believe I'm the only member of this House that is a victim of gun violence. My body is riddled with bullets. I live with that every single day. Her ordeal was horrific, but she breezed right past something that happened less than five years ago. It was then on a Virginia baseball diamond where a deranged Bernie Sanders supporter fired off more than 60 rounds at Spire's Republican colleagues. Five people were hit, including my next guest, who almost died as a result. Congressman Steve Scalise joins me now. Congressman, now Spire's omission on the day that these hearings are being held uh, it, was a, it was a little bit convenient. I can't imagine she forgot what happened uh, five years ago. Your reaction? Uh, Laura, look, I mean, clearly we all know what happened. They, you know, whatever her reason was, I think most Americans are just sick and tired of the politicization that you're seeing by the Democrats to try to change the subject. They know what American people are angry about. American people are angry about what Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi and their far left socialist agenda have done to people. And they wish Congress was addressing those things, not this Hollywood production, not an attempt to take away your guns. Uh, it just seems like over and over again, they think they can blame Putin. They can blame anybody else. The American people are smarter than that. They figured out who's the cause of the pain their families and our families are suffering. And they want a change of direction, as Speaker Gingrich just talked about. You know, what's coming in November is something they're scared to death of because they only want power. They still want to shut down cities. They still want to defund the police. They still want to do the things that the American people are tired of. And the American people are going to have the final say on November 8th. Now, when you watch this hearing tonight and the, you know, the attempted production value, we're going to get into some of that with Raymond Arroyo coming up. But I don't know how much all of this costs, but they've been working on this, you know, for 18 months. I mean, all, approximately. I, this can't be cheap. And last time I checked, we're kind of broke. But I, just to go over to Grand Central Station, you'll see, I don't know, 30, 40 people living on the streets, you know, crawling on the streets, you know, throwing up, you know, on themselves because they're so sick or addled with drugs. I don't know which. But, uh, you know, America's just crumbling, in urban, especially in the urban areas. And yet we're just blowing money on this. For what reason? Yeah, and Laura, you know, one important question that, We've asked the mainstream media to ask Speaker Pelosi, who paid this Hollywood producer? Because it's against the law to use taxpayer funds to produce a documentary uh, trying to promote their political agenda or go after their political opponents. And we haven't really heard an answer. You know, who paid this guy? We know who he is. He not only produced this video, he also supposedly covered up for Jeffrey Epstein. You know, so he's got his own track record. But how did he get paid? Because uh, he's not allowed to get taxpayer money to get paid. And if he did it for free, that's an in-kind contribution, which is also mm. illegal. So I think the question of who did pay him and how much did he get paid and how did that transaction even occur is an interesting question yeah. because there may be violations of law. Yeah, you would think that it's the, the, the actions themselves on January 6th were dramatic enough. You didn't really need to bring someone in to produce the drama. I mean, right? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Congressman, great to see you.